Hey guys, Dankalodian here with another installment of the Evidence and Support, and this one we're going to be taking a look at Master Chief. Now as far as fan support, we don't have to go into much. It's obvious that it is there. As far as with Nintendo only fans, probably wouldn't be there as much, but for people that have had a broad experience across the gaming landscape, there are going to be people that want the inclusion of Master Chief. Him being one of the most iconic characters of the last 15 years, like it or not, he is absolutely one of the most recognizable characters in gaming. Now, while Halo has waned a little bit on its popularity from what it was back in, say, 2008, 2009, that phase of time, Chief has definitely retained his iconic image and still remains a very recognizable character. Now, going into leak representation, this one's a little weird. With him being as iconic as he is, as far as the Smash community, it doesn't seem like many people see him as having a good shot. Now, there are several reasons for that, which I will get into later and that do make sense. But, leak representation for Chief is pretty small. I have seen him in a couple of leaks, like one or two. But, he isn't very widespread as far as leaks go. There was one specific thing that I did see where somebody claimed to have had the audio file of Master Chief's reveal video. Like, just the, like, audio from it. While I was going to include that in this video, I tried searching everywhere and could not find it. So again, if any of you guys can lead people to that information, I'd be totally fine with it. But as I said, I couldn't really find the files for it. So basically, it was just the Halo theme that we're all used to, like that first fanfare. But while a lot of people were saying, hey, this sounds kind of legitimate, you could also look at the reveal trailer for Halo Infinite and see that it sounded almost exactly the same. <laughs> With a sound clip like that though, it's gonna be kinda hard for it to sound very different because the audio itself being like the fanfare before the Halo theme sets in is just like 12 notes. Now as far as direct evidence, there's little to no direct evidence supporting this. As far as the other types of evidence, there is some information there that might push for his inclusion. Just to get this one out of the way because this is what people that are fans of Steve and Banjo all like to say as well, Nintendo and Microsoft do have an oddly sort of we're gonna get along thing going on. Now, like I've said before, they're not best friends or anything, but they're not, like, heavily, I'm gonna kill you competing right now. I mean, if you look at it, Minecraft is already on Nintendo consoles. There is Halo content in Minecraft that is present on Nintendo, so technically Master Chief, while not in his actual form, does have very, very minuscule representation on the Switch but Chief is on the Switch. Now, of course, of the people that are really hoping for any kind of Microsoft-owned character to get in, there are three main ones that are definitely the characters that people are looking at. Those being Banjo and Kazooie, put together as one character, Steve from Minecraft, and Master Chief. And while there are people that say Chief can't get in, he's a combat character, like military combat. He's from a first-person shooter game, his weapons are too realistic and too violent. Well, yeah, but at the same time, Snake also is a very realistic character. Snake also uses real weapons. So that would be an argument given against Chief being in and given for Chief being in. Too realistic, uses too realistic of weapons, yet Snake got in. Snake uses mortars, rocket launchers, all that jazz. Ultimately, beginning at around the time of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Super Smash Bros. became less of a celebration of Nintendo history and more of a celebration of gaming history. Now, this is obvious with the inclusion of characters like Sonic, Cloud, Snake, all of those characters. Super Smash Bros. is a celebration of gaming history and the icons from gaming history. Now, does this absolutely mean that Master Chief would get in uh, I'd say it's a bit of a stretch. Does Chief deserve it as far as the character? I would say probably so. Chief does deserve getting into the game because of just how iconic the character is. Will he be a good fit? Hard to say. A lot of people didn't think Snake would be a good fit, but Snake seems to have won over the hearts of a lot of Smash fans. Ultimately, it's hard to see Microsoft letting their Golden Boy flagship character go, and it's hard to see Nintendo inviting Microsoft personified in a video game over to their console. Again, while that's already been done with Minecraft, it is hard to say whether or not that will happen. Personally, I'm leaning more toward the no on this, but as we know, in the world of Super Smash Bros. and from the mind of Sakurai, very unexpected things can definitely come to pass. Alright guys, that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for viewing this content as worthy of your time. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop a like. 
If you want to follow along as we make our way towards Smash Ultimate, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you along. Thank you again for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Later.